Hello, another round of the NHL playoffs are done, so I'm going to do another review of them and make more predictions. Uh, my predictions for this last round went better than the play-in round. Uh, it improved my accuracy to 50%, at least. Um, so let's just get started. Uh, so we got the Philadelphia Flyers and Montreal Canadiens. I thought Montreal did very well um, in the first couple of games, and the guys that needed to start scoring did, and then that all just disappeared and they got shut out in back-to-back -back games. But I think that uh, Canadians fans should be happy with how they did. Um, the young guys really performed well, I thought, and they weren't even supposed to make the playoffs this year, and they did pretty well, so... I think you can't really complain about that. Um, now the Flyers are up against the Islanders, and the Islanders have been a big surprise so far. I've gone against them in each round, and I don't want to jinx them, so I'm going to continue to go against them. And I'm going to say that the Flyers beat the Islanders in seven games. Uh, the next round, or next game, series was Tampa Bay versus Columbus and Tampa redeemed themselves from last year uh, they looked great um, Columbus made it tough and in game one you could see exactly how the uh, series was going to go when they went to five overtimes uh, Columbus just kept it close kept playing hard but uh, were overwhelmed by Tampa uh, by the third overtime period, almost all of the play was in Columbus's end. And eventually they just broke and Tampa got through. And that was kind of how the whole series went, was Columbus would work really hard and try hard, but Tampa was just too much for them. Uh, now they play against Boston in the next round. And... While Boston surprised me against Carolina, I don't think they'll be able to beat Tampa. Uh, so I've got Tampa beating Boston in six games. Uh, the next series, Washington versus New York Islanders. Uh, it went kind of how I predicted it would, just not the results. Um, Ovechkin was scoring goals, uh, but then once the Islanders started to... Uh, cover him more you'd expect the other guys from Washington to start scoring more, but they they didn't step up um, And as I said, they're playing against the Flyers and I think they'll end up losing um, But they're definitely a team that could surprise people um, They've done it so far and then the last series from the East is the Boston and Carolina one which uh, I didn't expect Boston to be able to keep up with Carolina's speed. Um, and they even managed to overcome Tuka Rask leaving. Um, Halak stepped in and played great. He's been great as the backup all year, so it's not too big of a surprise to see that, especially because we know how he's done in the playoffs before. He always seems to play well at showtime. Um, and the Hurricanes didn't really play to their game. They normally keep opponents uh, from getting too many shots against them, but Boston didn't seem to have any problem with that. And they also didn't seem to have any confidence in either of their goalies. They kept switching back and forth between Mrazek and Reimer. Um, and so now they the Bruins get to go against the Lightning, and I don't think they're going to do that well. I mean, they'll do decent, but not as well as you'd expect. Uh, on to the Western Conference. Uh, Vegas and Chicago. Um, despite the difference in the standings, like Chicago barely, like, shouldn't have been there like Montreal. Um, but they did very well. Um, and they kept the games close, even though they lost in five. Um, but I think Blackhawks should be happy with how their young players did. I think they still need a bit more to be competitive again. They were a little too reliant on guys like Taze and Kane. Um, but 
they did pretty good considering how good the Golden Knights looked. Uh, they don't really seem to have any clear glaring weaknesses. And now against the Canucks, I think they'll be able to handle them despite the Canucks being a surprise here. Um, so I have Vegas beating the Canucks in six games in the next round. Um, the next series is Colorado versus Arizona. Uh, Arizona was kind of disappointing in this series. Kemper played amazing um, in the first few games and stole one of the games for them. But I think it just got to be too much for him and then... and. Colorado just broke through eventually and started lighting him up, and he got no help from any of the players in front of him. Um, so I think there's a chance that Colorado could let that go to their heads and kind of come out a little flat in the next round, but I think they should still be able to handle the Stars um, as long as they don't take them too lightly. Uh, so I got Colorado beating the Stars in five. Uh, then we have Dallas and Calgary. Uh, and Calgary was a weird team in this series. They either got the scoring and no defense and goaltending, or they got defense and goaltending and no scoring. And at the other end, uh, Dallas lost their goalie, Ben Bishop. And Hudobin came in, and he only played okay, I'd say, but they made up for it by scoring a lot when they had to, um, and getting big performances out of key players when they needed it, uh, like Pavelski getting his hat trick. Um, so now they get to play against the Avalanche, and like I said, if they uh, if the Avalanche don't take them seriously. Uh, Dallas could surprise them and come out strong in the first couple of games and take a series lead. Um, but I still think Colorado's got that series in the bag. And then we have the last one is St. Louis and Vancouver. I Again, I thought Vancouver wasn't going to do that well. I didn't think they looked that great against the Wild, but then they came out here and looked very strong. Um, and I thought that was like the one way they would have a chance is if uh, they played really well in the early games before St. Louis had a chance to get anything going because St. Louis didn't really look that good in the uh, seeding round, but those weren't that intensive games. Um, I thought maybe they could catch them off guard and win the series in five games or something. But then as soon as the Blues won games three and four, I thought it was over for Vancouver. I didn't think they had any chance. But then they came back strong in games five and six and finished off the series. Um, I thought the Blues made a mistake in going back to Bennington for game six. Uh, Bennington hadn't won a single game in the playoffs yet. And Allen looked pretty good in the games he had played. Um, but I understand why they would go back to him. He won the cup with them, so he, he's their guy. He want They want him to do well. Um, it just didn't work out for them. And so now Vancouver gets to play against Vegas. And the way Vegas has been playing, I think they look more like how the Blues looked when they were winning against Vancouver. Um, which Vancouver didn't look like they were up to the task of that. Like, they, they made it tough, but they were getting overwhelmed, I thought. So I think they'll end up losing to Vegas in six. Um so I think they'll they'll keep it close, but they uh, I think they will get uh, it'll be too much for them to handle. Uh, so hopefully these predictions continue to get better. Um, but as I said, look to the Islanders to be a surprise and uh, knock out another contender. Uh, that's all I have for this one. So thanks for watching.